Okay, here we have turbocharging 101 of what not to do when installing a wastegate, especially when it's internal. On this turbo features internal wastegate. As you can see, flapper is supposed to open up, let the boost out, and relieve the pressure in the exhaust, thus controlling the boost. Well, some shop that we won't name decided to customize these turbos to fit on a Nissan Skyline GTR. And uh did a little boo-boo here. Check it out. That is the O2 housing which connects to the exhaust and as you can see there's absolutely nowhere for the exhaust flow to go for when it's trying to go through the port on the turbo to vent out. So what happens when you put this on the turbo the way that it's supposed to be Okay. No travel whatsoever. Completely blocked, not allowing any exhaust flow to go through. Take it off. That's what it should be opening at least 75%. This is a hundred. So make sure when you're changing turbos and you keep internal wastegate, always make sure that the flapper door can open. Okay, as you can see, after uh, cutting with the plasma cutter, we uh, cut that cord out for the wastegate flapper to open up, and then you can see it's got a clear path. Now when the uh, O2 housing is installed and we go to open the flapper, much more travel. Before it would open up to about there and now we got all that. Same thing for that one.